Okay, yes, we are going to talk about pooping in the woods. I will put the timestamp right here if that's why you clicked on this video. <laughs> but I promised myself I was never going to, I promised myself I was never gonna make this video. Like, this was the cliche video that all the backpacking channels out there make. I just wasn't gonna make it, and here I am making it. <laughs> oh, and last week, uh, or maybe like 10 days ago, I mentioned that um, I wanted to go backpacking with you guys, and I've never been able to because logistically it's never been possible, but a company made it possible, and I asked you guys where you'd wanna go. I put out a survey, and uh, you guys overwhelmingly said that you wanted to go to Yellowstone National Park, so that's where we're going, so awesome. And it's gonna be September 2022, so if you want to sign up for early bird pricing, I think there's only eight spots available for that. I will put a link right here. Just click on it, put in your email, and you'll be notified probably this week, very soon, like in the next day or two, um, of early bird pricing. And I think there's only eight spots for early bird pricing, and then the price is gonna jump up after that. But make sure you do that right away, and uh, I can't wait to go with you guys. I have seen some things, let me just tell you. You cannot unsee what I've seen out on trail. Honestly, it is absolutely disgusting what I've seen on trail. Um, you know, there are places near me that have privies or like, um, you know, just like almost like a, like a toilet, okay? It's a hole <laughs> in the ground that they put in the ground that's at camp um, that you can drop a deuce in. Those are, those are awesome. Uh, those are good to have because they keep the camping area clean, but sometimes they're hard to find. Uh, sometimes you get to a campsite and you don't even know where the privy is because they put it off in the woods somewhere and you gotta like, you gotta go, right? You gotta, you gotta go like right now. Like <laughs> some of us out there have to go all the time. Uh, you, you get out there and you're like, uh, where's the privy? Well, I guess I'm going over here instead because I can't find it. But maybe you're hiking, right? And uh, you just gotta find a place to go because you gotta go now. Been there. Lake Alice in the Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho. We were on a peninsula off the lake, uh, and it's sort of a designated camping area, I think. I mean, it's like marked on maps as a camping area, but it was literally covered in poop. Human feces absolutely everywhere. It was disgusting. People just don't know how to do it. Either that or they just don't care. So that's the other reason that I'm prompted to make this video, because I'm kind of ranting a little bit. When you get to a campsite and you have to walk off just a little ways to go to the bathroom and there's poop everywhere. There's toilet paper hanging in trees. There's people not even attempting to bury it. Like, not even attempting to clean up after themselves. Literally just absolutely no care for the campsite or the environment. It is, it's disgusting and it's, it honestly, it needs to stop because it is, makes you wanna put a little tickle in the back of your throat like you're gonna vomit. Like, do you wanna see poop and vomit out there? Cause that's what's gonna happen when I go out there, I'm gonna vomit because I see all the poop. Come on guys, we are, uh, for the most part, adults and we should all know how to uh, be at least semi-sanitary. Uh, there's literally like a million videos on YouTube on how to poop. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how I poop. I'm not gonna show you how I poop. I'm just gonna tell you what I do and I am by no means perfect. And if you are a avid leave no tracer or just like the person who's like always picking up garbage after people, I may make you upset in this video. It is not my intent. I really do try my best, but I am not like the go-to resource on pooping outdoors, but I've done it enough <laughs> to at least give you a few good tips on how it's done. All right, so this is what you do. When you gotta go, you need to get away from the trail. Like, just walk a good distance. You know, the rule of thumb out there is that you take 70 large steps or walk 200 feet. Are you really gonna count that or are you gonna be thinking, holy crud, I gotta take a dump? Do your best to get as far away from the trail as possible. Also, do your best to get as far away from like an actual water source that people will use to filter their water because nobody wants to be filtering your dookie. Next, make sure you've got something to dig a hole. For the longest time, I brought a trekking pole with me um, or a stick if I found a stick. And sometimes I actually just used like my foot, like a, to dig a hole with my shoe, just kicking dirt as much as possible. But sometimes the ground is actually really difficult to dig a hole in. Sometimes it's rock solid. Then what do you do, right? Well, this is the poop kit I bring. This is actually 
what I brought on my last trip. It's just a couple rolls of toilet paper, and then I bring uh, this little trowel, which I didn't bring trowels for a long time at all, like ever. <laughs> this is the, I think it's the Deuce of Spades, and it's very lightweight. I bought it because it was under half an ounce and everybody ranted and raved about it. The thing I don't like about this is that the handle down here, if you can see that, is it's just thin. And so when you're trying to dig a hole, it pushes up, it hurts, it hurts your hand. So, you know, put a buff around it maybe or whatever. Anyway, just know this is the trowel I use and it doesn't have a lot of use to it because I just recently started using it. So that's what I'm saying, I'm not like an expert on this, but it's been so disgusting at campsites lately, I really felt the need to make this video. It's just absolutely gross. So once you find your spot to drop your deuce, okay, you gotta go, um, you're gonna dig a hole. You're gonna dig your hole as deep as possible. They say you should dig it six inches, eight inches, okay? Uh, are you gonna measure it? Probably not. I've never measured a hole in my life. I, <laughs> I've dookied enough to know about the size that's gonna come out. So just dig a deep enough hole. Um, and I am the culprit as well. So I have had times in my camping and backpacking life where I have not done it responsibly at all. <laughs> like I couldn't dig a hole. And it was literally do or die. I did, and I buried it as I could, and it, was, it wasn't proper. And so I am to blame as much as anybody else's. Another tip is if you're new to this, like if you're like, what do I do? If you're a guy, I can speak to the guys. It's a lot easier if you pee first. I'll just say that, like guys can stand up and pee. Some of you girls, I don't know, maybe you can. Guys can stand up and pee. Uh, so do that first because the chances of you then <clears throat> getting it on your pants when you're in the position to poop is going to be way less. Some people pull their pants like halfway down like a, to their thigh and then that seems to work for them. Um, but I'm going to tell you uh, if you want like absolute confidence you're not going to poop in your pants because the position you take out there has the potential to poop in your pants. <laughs> I can't believe I'm making this video. You can take one leg completely out of your pants and that will solve the problem. Because if you're not a good aimer, that's gonna go with you the rest of your backpacking trip. Then you're gonna clean up. I think you know how to do that, okay? Wet wipes are a plus if you got them. You're gonna bury your toilet paper. Go ahead and bury your toilet paper. Now, there are some areas that require you to pack out your toilet paper. Look, I'm not here to debate whether or not you should or shouldn't be packing out toilet paper. I will just say what I've seen out there is a lot of toilet paper. So if you can pack it out, do it. Uh, if it's required you pack it out, absolutely do it. Like I've even seen like, it literally looks like a mummy pooped in the woods. A mummy, that's how much toilet paper I've seen out there. Like literally hanging on trees. It's disgusting, people, come on. After you're done burying it, the next step is to make sure that nobody else digs there. I have dug up other people's poop. Aren't you glad I told you that? I'm actually disgusted to have said that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark your spot. And the easiest way to do that is take a stick, break the stick so it's obviously like not a plant coming out of the ground, and stick it down into where you pooped so that it's sticking straight up. That's a signal, that's like a universal sign. Hey, don't dig here, somebody dropped a deuce here. Now, if you can't really dig too deep or the hole isn't deep enough to put a stick in it, then make two sticks into an X and lay it on top of where you pooped. Make it obvious that you have pooped there so that I don't dig up your poop. Okay, and then my suggestion to you is have hand sanitizer in your poop bag as well. Now, I don't have it with me because when I fly to go backpacking, which has been happening quite a bit lately, uh, I don't wanna keep it in here because it will literally explode inside of this bag or the higher I go on elevation, elevation changes can, can make it so that it explodes inside of your poop bag. So at least have it with you somehow as you go poop so that you remember it. So that's obviously helpful for you to be sanitary. If you can't bury your poop, I'm gonna highly recommend you do this. I'm gonna have at least a single wag bag in my backpack at all times, no matter where I'm going, so that I am no longer one of the people who has to leave an unsanitary situation somewhere <laughs> because it's, it's just that disgusting. And if you don't know what a wag bag is, I will link my good friend Devin's video right here for you guys to check out. 
It will explain everything you want to know about wag bags. Essentially, it's just a big bag that you poop in and then you seal it up and you pack it out. And then when you get back to town or back to your car or back somewhere, you can just throw it away in any garbage can. Bye bye Dookie. Also, I highly recommend you bring an extra gallon Ziploc bag or two with you. So that way you can double bag your Dookie <laughs> and uh, you don't have to worry about it, you know, getting on things inside of your backpack. Now there are places that actually require you to have a wag bag. Like uh, when I was in the desert in the Canyonlands, uh, you can't poop anywhere. You gotta, you gotta use a wag bag. Do you know what it's like to poop in a wag bag in 30 mile an hour desert winds? I do. Okay guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you thought it stunk, <laughs> hit the dislike button. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, I'll put that right here, and uh, we'll see you guys um, on the next one.